All righty. So it is Rio. It is Friday at the end of week 10 coming in. Sorry, at the end of week 11 coming in to week 12. Tells you what kind of day this has been for me. So I've been talking about kind of, you know, for a couple weeks now, our schedule, and now it's upon us. We're at week 12. So your next dev project is due next week. Um, I need to take off the draft of the requirements. Matter of fact, I'll just do these now because I've modified them minorly over the last, I don't know, week, couple weeks. So um, these are the requirements. I've been talking about what you need to do. Remember, there are two parts. So you want to have um, your dev. And actually, what you want to do here, I just looked at this, is you want to have part one. That, and I'm talking here just about the folder structure, right? And then down here, you'll also want to have those in your private repo. But in this case, I'm going to say, now, the thing with part one, let's just slow down and do this, right? You want to build a full stack, meaning the front end and the back end of whatever your concept that you used for uh, your dev zero, if you've changed it, but I don't think you have at this point, right? Then you write some CSS uh, to focus on the user, just give them a nice thing to look at, and then handle the errors on the input. Deploy this to Heroku such an important part. Um, I do want you to have that code in this directory structure under your private repo, which means, and that's where I jumped off and I did it too quickly, is that then you'll want to have part two, which is this, in that same dev, dev one, but part two, okay? So um, this is where 65% of this, you'll provide me the Heroku link. Um, so anyway, chat with me if you have any questions about that or reply here. That's fine as well. And then uh, in this case, you're going to demonstrate to me in your code review that you have Mongo Robo 3T set up. And, and I've really debated whether I was going to do more than one query, but I've decided to leave it here. Uh, one query, you're going to write code that connects to the MongoDB client, the native client, and then writes a insert document, which you, we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. So this is nothing new. In this case, using promises. And that's 35 points. Uh, you do need to sign up for the code review. I've already put these sessions up there. And again, here is the duplicate of what we went through last time as far as just to help you understand the code review itself. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to save that now that I've updated it. So that is upon us. We are in coming into that week, which means the week after will be spring break. Okay. So there was some uh, data. There was a, a video released today uh, from Fresno City about, you know, what's happening to our campus and to the city and to the state and larger context. But, you know, for students that are struggling and making sure they're getting the resources. So if you need to connect in with any of that, would you please let me know? I will, uh, in at least this video, provide a link to the presidential forum. It took me a little while to get into it, but it was actually, even though it, the production of it could have been better, but, you know, I don't fault anybody for that because I know what it takes. But it was good information for students and faculty, right? And so, FYI, we are working. I mean, we have now converted uh, our classes to the online for the most part. And that's a huge thing to take on in just a matter of weeks. So I'm really proud of our campus for this. But I also know there's fallout that happens with any kind of big change like that. Just there couldn't help but be. So there you go. Let me know. Uh, like I said, I'll find the video that was done and uh, provided in the attendance link for this week. And then I, my plan is over spring break, which is the week after. I'm actually going to work and get week 13 done. Uh, the sooner the better, I think, just because some people might have some time over spring break. But you know what you need to do as far as the code ups, right? So now we're going to move from finish, now that we've finished up the 
I'm trying to think we might. Matter of fact, let's go check. This would be a perfect thing to go check about. Now that we have gone through, so we're in week 11 right here. So the lectures as of this week, uh, I believe. Okay, so part two, right. So part. So now we're going to move into section 11. And section 11, uh, if you want to be reminded, is actually the place in the course. I know this link doesn't go where I want it to, but at least gets me to the course. Uh, in section 11 is where we move to actually creating the API. Um, so section 11 is the REST API and the Mongo. So I've said this before, so I'll say it again, uh, because you may be looking at this over break, is that now we're moving from using the native driver to using Mongoose. And Mongoose gives you the ability to do some things that you can't do natively with the native driver, but it basically is just another way of interfacing with that MongoDB database. So it's very popular though. Many people love it because you can do some nice validation uh, things. You can do methods uh, on your models, which you will learn all about starting, uh, well, depending on when you look at it, but in this case in week um, week 12, well, really week 13, okay? Because we are at week 11 now. And I think what happened here, now that I'm talking about it, is we you just start on that this week. So you get introduced to these concepts, right? We, uh, section 11. So uh, you do get a little bit, and I ended up making not as many lectures during the week of code review, but at least getting you started into there. So I will take all that into consideration when I set up the learn together for week 13 that will be due after spring break. But again, my goal is to do it. My goal is to complete it, have it set up during spring break. Okay. All right. Peace out. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good weekend. Bye.